Alex. Okay. Coach, how's your unit looking so far? Uh, they're getting better. Uh, you know, each day uh, I learn a little bit more about them. And, you know, what they're doing is they're coming out there every day. And, uh, they, they're starting to learn the defense better. You know, so now what I'm trying to do is just get them to hone in on, you know, reading their keys, technique, and stuff like that. Someone specifically brought up Raven and DeShazer, a couple individuals who have stu stood out. They're making some plays, uh, but, you know, they still have a long way to go. So, uh, you know, as they need to get better at reading their keys. Uh, they're fast, athletic, and they're physical. So, you know, the, the one thing that stands out about them is, you know, the, the actual part about coming up and hitting people. I can't teach them how to uh, hit somebody, but, you know, what I can teach them is how to cover, you know, how to read their keys. So, that's the biggest thing uh, that that uh, we're trying to do is, uh, you know, they need to read their keys better. Talent-wise, where is the defensive backs unit compared to what you expected coming in? You know what? We're a lot more athletic uh, uh, as a whole than what I've ever had. Uh, they don't understand the game yet, you know, as a whole, as well as I would like them to understand, but they're getting there. You know, and like I said, it goes back to reading your keys because that's a position. If you don't read your keys, it's a touchdown. You know, so we got to make sure that those guys are disciplined. You know, and they're doing their job, not seeing something. You know, and thinking they're seeing it, but actually reading it. You know, and being in the right place at the right time. You like what you've seen out of Howard Matthews so far? I have. You know, the one thing he needs to do is he needs to uh, he needs to practice better. Uh, you know, his habits just need to be better as far as going hard every play. You know, and being more vocal. Uh, he, uh, in our defense, uh, the safety is a quarterback of the defense, so you need to be able to talk, you know, get everybody lined up and let everybody know, you know, exactly what we're doing. So, you know, he, he's, he's starting to get a feel for that, you know. And one thing about this group that I didn't realize is I don't have very many people that played. These guys are all new. Uh, so, you know, they were out there. They may have, uh, you know, played a little bit, but as far as starting games, you know, I think the person that started the most games is probably – Dustin Harris, I think, has the most experience out of my group. Mm -hmm. You know, so they're real young as far as actual game time experience. Was it nice to get Harris back? It was great to get Harris back. You know, he's been great. You know, he's been a leader in the room. You know, uh, I've been very impressed with Stephen Terrell also as a leader. Those two, I think, are my leaders. Uh, Campbell is more of a quiet guy. Uh, you know, I think he's a guy that what, from, from, what I hear, from what I'm hearing, he leads more by his play. But Dustin Harris, uh, you know, he's been a guy that's been vocal. You know, he sits in front in meetings. He helps guys out. You know, he gets excited. You know, he's having fun. So, you know, he's a guy that it was good to get him out there today and see him move around. He was actually better than what I thought. Coach Sumlin said he'd like to see him put on quite a bit of weight between now and the start of the season. Do you see that as well and how much weight? He has to. I've been giving him crap about it because he's the lightest <laughs> guy in my room, and he's a veteran. So, you know, he, he needs to put on some pounds, you know, because – the style of football we want to play, our corners have to be physical, you know. And so, I believe that if your corners can be physical, then the whole, you know, the whole group is going to be physical. So he needs to put on some pounds. You know, if he can put on five or ten pounds, I think he would be good. Uh, but you know, yeah, he needs to put on some pounds at some point. You talked about the knowledge of the game. Is that going to be because of the young, so young repetition, or is it more film study, or how do you see them gaining that knowledge of the game? They get that knowledge by both, you know, film study. Uh, practicing it, you know, playing. I, we need to put those guys, you know, in the right. You know, what I do is I break it down and I teach them everything by sections and get them to uh, understand it. Uh, and the main thing is eyes, you know, reading your keys and seeing what's going on uh, and not guessing, you know. So if I can get those guys to read their keys, you know, and play what they see, then we'll be okay. But if they're out there guessing, that's a position you can't guess at because if you guess – and you're wrong, it's a touchdown. Uh, you know, the D-line is protected by the linebackers. The linebackers are protected by us. We're protected by nobody, you know, but the end zone. So I'm real big in reading your keys and being disciplined. That group has to be disciplined. During this period of teaching and development, how much do you rely? You mentioned him, but Stephen Terrell, a smart guy who's kind of been around the block. Yeah, he's been great. You know, he's, uh, he's very smart. You know, he knows the defense. You know, he studies film. He understands stuff. He understands concepts. You know, and when you can get the group to understand concepts, see the big picture, you can do more as a defense. You know, so we're trying to get to that point to where they can learn not just one thing, but learn the concept of what we're trying to do. You know, my goal is try 
is to try to get those guys to be coaches, to think like me. So when we get into a game, then when it comes to the sideline, they can talk to me like the way I would talk to them. How helpful do you think it's going to be for for your unit to be able to play against the kind of offense that Kingsbury is going to be running on, on the offensive side of the ball? I've been blessed. You know, the two places I've been last, you know, we've had one of the top offenses, and I'm thankful for that. You know, so to me, it's always great to face a to face an explosive offense every day in practice. You know, so having that, I think, is a, is a is a huge advantage. We we should not be afraid of the pass. That's for sure. Uh, you know, because we're going to be out there on the island against these guys. So going up against our offense, I think, is a great thing for us to get better. How's Otis Jacobs doing in his uh, acclimation from Juco to Big Time? He's doing well. You know, he's getting better. You know, the main thing is, once again, when you're an athlete that comes from junior college or from high school, you know, you just need to be taught how to be disciplined. You know, so we're working on that, reading your keys and stuff like that, because college is so much faster, you know, that uh, when you're able to cheat maybe in high school, you can't cheat here. Uh, you know, because these receivers are, are are upon you so fast. So, you know, for him, he's getting better every day. This group is getting better. You know, they're positive. You know, they have a better feel for me now after five practices and what I expect and how I am. You know, like I tell them, I'm going to coach you up. Don't take it personal. It's not personal. I'm coaching you up to be the best player you can be. You know, so now they're getting a better, you know, a feel for me because I expect I want to be great. I want the group to be great. I want our team to be great. So, you know, that's how I am. Experience is nice, but you have a lot of fresh minds. Is that is that something you enjoy, something so you can implement your scheme? Yeah, you know, I do. Uh, and a good thing about them is when they're young, they don't really know much, so you can kind of teach them the way you want to mold them, and then you have them for a long time, you know, uh, a longer time, I should say. So with them being young, uh, you know, they do have some room to grow and learn some stuff and learn it my way. So, you know, to me, Having a young group is a big advantage for me. From a secondary's coach perspective, how do the quarterbacks look, the young guys? You know what's funny is because I'm coaching my guys, I don't even pay attention to them. Uh, they're catching too many balls on offense, so in that case, <laughs> then I think they're doing great. But, you know, I couldn't tell you who the quarterbacks are or, or what, you know, what numbers they are because I'm paying attention, you know, to my group. So, you know, but they seem to be doing fine. You know, that's some Coach Kingsbury. I coach defense, so I'll let him figure that part out. You know. Is that covered, guys? All right. Thanks, Coach.